Okay, our topic ngayon ay what we call sampling distribution. So, from last term and prior to finals, we have already studied yung tinatawag natin distribution. We have in how well scattered or how scattered the data that we have when it comes from the population perhaps. Now, ngayon, nandun tayo sa tatawag natin sampling distribution. Ibig sabihin, we're gonna get how well distributed the data is when we are pertaining to samples. Ayan. Now, before kung malimutan, meron tayong dalawang klaseng data na pinag-uusapan. Una, when it comes from the population. Those data that comes from the population or computation that came from the population, those are what we call parameters. Nandiyan si mu, nandiyan si sigma squared, si sigma. Ibig sabihin, yan yung mean. Pag-usapan natin ay mean. Yan yung variance, yan yung standard deviation ng population. Those are what we call parameters. And then, meron naman tayo susunod na klase ng data na manggagaling naman sa sample. Ibig sabihin, hindi sa lahat ng members ng iyong population. Kasi pag sinabi natin yung population, di ba? Yung population, siya yung set of all individuals that you are concerned with gathering your data. Now, pagdating sa sample, ang tawag sa kanya ngayon ay statistic. Those are characteristics, computations that we can do towards the sample. Nandiyan si x bar or yung sample mean. Nandiyan si sample standard deviation and variance. So, those are talking about sample. But when we are talking about sampling distribution as a whole, ito buong yan, we are actually talking about all possible samples that we're gonna get from the population. Ano yung ibig sabihin nun, sir, pag sinabi mong all possible samples? Let me give you an example. <coughs> Excuse me. Pag sinabi natin sampling distribution, for example, we have a population of numbers. Let's say... 2, 4, 9, 10, and 5. So, madaling kuhanin yung parameters niya because, for instance, we can just get the mu or the population mean and the sample, the population variance, population standard deviation. Madali siya. Pero once na yan ay dumami, of course, if we have many more people to sample it, for example, in a study, hindi na feasible na lahat nung data sa population ay kukuhanin natin. That's why, kailangan natin mag-sample. Let's say, ang sample ko dito, let's say, ang tawag ko sa kanya ay sample size. And we denote it by small n. I'm gonna get 3 data at a time. Yan. Pag kumuha tayo ng sample na ang size ay 3, ibig sabihin from the population we're gonna get 3 at a time. So, pwede kong kuhanin 2, 4, 9. Pwede kong kuhanin 2, 4, 10. Pwede si 2, 4, 5. Pwede si 2, 9, 10. Pwede si 2, 9, 5. Pwede rin si 4, 9, 10. Pwede si 4, 
9 5 Better in C 9 10 5 So all in all 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 mm, Let's see Meron pa ba tayo nakalimutan? Hmm, nakalimutan ako si 2, 10, 5. Sino pa ba nalimutan natin? Let's see. 2, 4, 9. Mm -hmm. The hardest thing about sampling distribution is enumerating all possible sample. So, bawat grupo dyan, we call it sample. Ang size niya, 3. So, let me just check kung kumpleto na yung sample natin or samples natin. 2, 4, 9, 2, 4, 10, 2, 4, 5, 2, 9, 10, 2, 9, 5, 2, 10, 5, 4, 9, 10, 4, 9, 5, 9, 10, 5, and 4 10, 5 So, ayan lahat yung samples of size 3 Now, of course when we are dealing with data we could get averages So, eto si 2, 9, 2, 4, 9 ang average niya, of course 5.0 Si 2, 4, 10 it's around 5.33 C245 si it's around 3.67 C2910 si it's around 7 and C295 si let's see 295 is 5.33 C4910 si is add natin 7.67 C495 si Its average is 6 C910 si and 5 Ang average niya ay 8 C215 si Ang average niya ay 5.67 At si 4105 Siya ay 6.33 Now all of this are sample means. Lahat each one of them are means of their corresponding sample. Now, when we compare it with the population, population's mean, let's say 249, 10, and 5, Of course, ang average niya, pag pinag-add natin yan, 2 plus 4 is 6 plus 9 is 15, 15, 30 divided by 5 is 6. So, the population mean is actually 6. Now, when we look at all this sample means here, all the distribution, Titingnan natin. Majority, you know, sa majority, most of them could be lower and some of them are actually higher. And there's actually one data in there that is really equal to the mu of 6. So that is one thing to consider that when we are considering sampling distribution, that the sample means that we're going to collect are sometimes higher are sometimes higher or lower than mu okay so we're done with sampling distribution